So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add tags to your active record model uh, using Postgres. This requires Postgres, but um, they should be able to use the JSON column type for MySQL as well. So we're going to start by generating a migration. So we're going to say Rails generate migration, add tags to posts. And we'll say tags is a type JSON B. Then we can go in to our uh, migration here and we can say null false default empty array and save and then we can run our migrations now we can go in and uh, start our real server so if we go across to our server um, you'll see we have a form for creating a new post and um, we're going to need to add a field in here for tags for now, we're just going to go with the text field. So if I open up the post form and then we'll just copy this one for name and we'll change that to be tags. And we'll see if that then we'll go to our posts controller and we'll go down and say that we're allowed to submit tags and see if there. Next, we need to go to our post itself and add in a tags method. So this is just going to allow us to take a string value for tags from our form and basically split on comma and save these as the array. So if we save that change and then go in and reload and create a new post, we can say first post, we'll say tags is reels and hotwire and we'll just say hello world. So if we save that, now we'll need to actually pull our tags out, but if we go into the console and load up our first post, we should be able to get tags off of that and we can see it has saved successfully as Reels and Hotware. We'll go into our show view and we'll just print out the tags. So we're rendering a post here, which is underscore post and we can say posted by, we'll just copy this and then in here we'll say tagged and we'll just say post.tags.to sentence and then if we go and reload our post you'll see tagged rails and hotware. Next we want to make a page for our tags so that you can browse by tag and then we'll link up these tags and make them clickable. So if we go to our roots file and where we have resources posts we'll say get slash tag slash tag on collection and we'll hit save on that and then we need to actually say two and we'll say posts and then tag and we'll hit save so now um, we have this root so slash posts slash tag and the tag and then we can also say as and we'll say tag here so if we go in here and say uh, reels roots and look for tag we've now got this tag posts url so we can copy that go back into our post and then instead of doing our two sentence here what we can do is um loop over these so we can say post.tags.h do and then we'll say tag and then we can create a link to here so let's just copy this up and then we can say link to and we'll just say the tag name and then for the url we have tag post path and then with the tag of the tag name again so we can save that and we've got tagged now we don't have commas after each of these so we might need to do something like maybe a dot map here i'm not sure if this is possible and then dot uh, join with a comma let's see if this works so we got rails and we got hotwire and the same two link up correctly so let's just add a class to this of underline and we'll say text blue 500 
or 600 and they stand out a wee bit more now so I'm not sure if that comma is actually working or not I don't think it is but um, we will forget about that right now and keep that as an each and we'll just add a margin right to each of these so we can reload this um, that's maybe a bit too much I'll say 1.5 that looks a bit better so we've got our tags anyway um, if we click on reels you can see action tag could not be found for post controller so what we want to do here is go into our posts controller and we want to go up and create a method for our tag then we want to look up the posts so we're going to say at posts equals post dot find by tag and then we'll pass in params tag and that should be everything we want to do there so we can copy the code for our index file and basically copy that go to posts and create a new one called tag.html.erb paste in and then we can say posts tagged and then echo out our tag here so we can say params.fetch tag and we'll save that and then if we reload you can see we get undefined method find by tag so let's go and implement that i'm actually going to make it find by tags plural because that gives us a wee bit more flexibility in the future so we'll say find by tags then we'll go into our post model and i'm just going to add this method in here which takes an array of tags does some postgres encoding for that and then does a fancy operator here for the JSON B column and basically pulls back posts where any of the tags match. So if you search for tags, reels and hotwire and there's a post that only has reels, that'll come back too. Let's see if this and let's go and see if it works. So we can go and reload and we get um, an error because we're passing in reels rather than an array. So we need to go back to our controller and we need to say it's an array with the params tag inside it. So if we reload that, we get back our first post. We can click hotwire. We also get our first post. And if we create a second post here, um, we'll give it the tag just of hotwire and say hello hotwire and create. Then if we go tags hotwire, we get both if we go tag rails we just get our first post so that is a quick way of doing tags with postgres and i think it works really neat you don't need any third-party gems or anything like that and uh, yeah this is how i would build tags for most apps so i hope you find that helpful and if you're not subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing it'll really help me keep producing content like this cheers